Hi guys and welcome back. It's a very hot and humid day here in Spain. It's up in the 30 degrees plus. But we have come to the now world famous Villa Martin Plaza. Or Villa Martin if you want to say it properly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Villa Martin to us, so yeah, that's what we're going with. Yeah, it's a... oh, sorry, go on. No, you no, go. No, 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 no. Alright, then I will go. Go. So it's a super popular area, loads of people come here, so we thought why not show you guys what it's all about. Yeah, this place has also been regularly featured on a place in the sun recently. Yeah. Um, it's not too far from where we live, so we thought we'd come and take you guys around and show you what the place has got to offer. Yeah. Okay, so we've taken a side entrance into the plaza, nearly got run over, but hey ho, that's a whole different story. And we're starting at the Portobello, we've had Sunday lunch here, wonderful. It did used to be a super duper chippy but there guys, Casada fish and chips, but they've moved to an old Casada instead of Villa Martin, which makes a bit more sense really, doesn't <laughs> it? Does, it, it? You know, does. Give them the name and all. Oh, she's on track. I nearly fucking fell there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nearly got run over two minutes ago, nearly <laughs> fell over by there and going home now. You're on a bad day, boss. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the centre of the plaza, it's a bit of a hub. As you can see, if you just pan around, there's like restaurants and entertainment places all the way around. Up and down, shake it all about, everyone's happy. <laughs> Here we go. We're in siesta time at the moment as well. You've got lots of international food places here, you've got a few Spanish places, a few bars. And um, they have karaoke, some live acts in places. Okay guys, we're just literally going past a couple of the food places and this place in particular has got a full menu so I thought I'd take it in for you for a second so you can get an idea of the prices on offer within the plaza. We've actually ha had breakfast here and it's pretty decent. It's not too bad actually, yeah. And just behind me we have steak stones. The steak is unbelievable, I can highly, highly recommend. Though it doesn't come cheap. <laughs> she loves a bit of beef. I loves it. <laughs> come on, let's go upstairs then. After you. Oh, these are pretty stairs. Look at that. Uh, that is pretty. Oh, the stairs. Yeah, I can see yeah. now. Oh, yeah, we got the names of some of the restaurants. Yeah. Isn't it? That is Snazzy. so cool. So we've made it up to the top level. This is the view down. As you can see it's quite a pretty little plaza, it's very Spanish, very quaint. It's got some gorgeous cactus and uh, trees here. That is a big cactus. <laughs> Spreading wide, bro. This restaurant, guys, is based at the top of the Villa Martin Plaza. And they also have out their menus, as to most places to be fair, but I'm not going to show you every friggin' menu in the place because we'll be here all day. Although, I do have a tip for the foodies. Top tip for the foodies, if you come into the area, check out the Facebook page, Eating Out or Away La Costa. That's where they promote all the best businesses. It's a great way to find places to eat. Okay, and just behind me, we have Eduardo's. Yes. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so, quite a prestigious place. Um, again, it costs you a pretty penny. There is a dress code, so if you're gonna come here to he eat, not heat, I highly recommend looking that up online. Just really, this is just really to show you guys that there's such a range of restaurants here. Yeah. For, you can get a full cooked English breakfast, you can get international cuisine, Indian. steaks, or you can get high end restaurants. Yeah. It's got every single thing here for you. Sports bars. What more do you want, right? Yeah, that one brings us to the end of the tour of Villa Martin Plaza, guys. Yeah. Um, our honest opinion is, yeah, it's a lovely place. There's loads of ranges of food. Honestly, though, it's a little bit made up for tourists. It's slightly overpriced because of it. Yeah, if you can travel, I would suggest venturing out for more reasonably priced eats. I would say I would give it six and a half out of ten. Now, I would go seven, seven and a half because there is a good range of eateries. There's open spaces, kids can run around. and You can even be a member of the Irish pub group. There's a playground somewhere. Yeah, you can get loyalty cards, yeah, Irish pub group. Um, gives you some form of discount of their venues, which they have about half a dozen yeah. here, I believe. So it's yeah. maybe worth doing, have a look into it. Look it up. Look it up. Right, anyway, we're off before we sweat anymore. Yes. Loving you lots. <laughs> Dying big time. Too hot. <laughs> Sweaty adio. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.